this one is a fairy garden and a music wall. It was a fairly large space in two parts and, and wrapped around the, the big old tree that was there. So it was important to, to stay away from that tree and, and try and create some colour and some life. We've got teacups there and then we'll have some fairy garden uh, in those teacups um, with all the, the rubber parting throughout it all. And then we've also built a um, music wall too. So a active music wall with xylophone and bamboo xylophone and PVC xylophone. And then also with a working keyboard through the middle so you can go up and hit it and, and play the notes. You see the typical playgrounds in schools and um, you know, they, they have all you need. But this one brings a new element. Never have we seen what we've done here. The team here at William Ready has spent numerous months putting it all together um, and it's looking absolutely amazing. I, um, it's colourful, it's bright, it's everything we had envisioned and everything that we wanted. It's got, um, it's got the imaginative play so kids can bring their own things from home. It's got colour. It's got that tactile experience for kids. It creates inclusiveness, diversity, and everyone can celebrate this amazing place together. I'm Loretta Pianza, principal of Meadow Glen Primary School. This is um, a wonderful uh, project that we have here with William Reddy. They showed us a number of designs, 12 in fact, about different spaces here at our school that could be adapted into very sensory, engaging and really exciting play areas. How we could turn Meadow Glen into an absolutely exciting place for not just some of our kids, but for all kids. So we jumped at that idea because not only is it a fantastic use of, of our money, but it also meant that we could look at doing something very, very different. And to my knowledge, I don't think any other school has got these sorts of uh, wonderful play spaces. No, this one's the king of the jungle. Yeah, I'm the king of the warthog. So they're not just play, they're much, much more than that. It's about engaging kids and giving kids an opportunity to firstly play, uh, to be social, uh, to work together, negotiate, collaborate, and just use their imagination to do things that normally they wouldn't be able to do in just the average play environment. Through living um, with someone on the spectrum, building our own school and going through the process of trying to develop spaces for him uh, and his understanding it and living that really, it does, it teaches you a different mindset on how kids behave and I think also having, you know, a child that's not on the spectrum, so a neurotypical child and one that is, you see the different ways that they interact with each other, how they play and, and the different needs of different kids. They're not just for one particular age range, they're for a group of age ranges and abilities too, so kids of different abilities, uh, skill sets, they can all come here because there's no particular predefined skill required for them to be able to be included in space to utilise this space. We are so excited with what we have created. We had a vision here that we wanted to create a space for the kids where they could play, where they could create, investigate and explore. And I feel that's what we've created here. All the kids can come together. This is a place where all children can create a space, a learning environment that's fun, um, colourful, and they're surrounded in an environment where you know, friends are made and um, imaginations can go wild. Everything's really cool.